Same with this. Yes. 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 Back in high school, we were given the option of change, uh, studying a few different languages, and uh, we had the choice of Latin, French, German, or Japanese, and I ended up choosing Japanese. Uh, later that year, we had a bunch of exchange students come out from Japan, one of whom stayed at my house with my parents, and uh, he came back six months later because he had such a good time with me and my family. And uh, then the next year, I went and I stayed with him in Japan with his family in Tokyo. <coughs> And uh, since then I've been back probably six or seven times. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, and we've stayed in touch and he'll be coming to my wedding in uh, two months' time, so we've stayed really good friends. Yes, I am, and my, uh, my wife-to-be, or my fiancé, is also Japanese, so... Sort of from those early days, I always started developing a, an interest in Japanese culture and, and the people. And so. We speak a little bit, not so much out of necessity, but more out of fun. She speaks very good English, so there's no real need to communicate in Japanese, except when we're trying to keep our conversations from people around us. We sort of use it as a secret language every now and then, but uh, I think for us it's always been a lot easier communicating in English. It's more out of fun that we, we talk in Japanese. I'm sure it's the case in any language, but there are some concepts or feelings or things that you want to express that work in some languages better than others. And um, there are a lot of things in Japanese that I just feel have to be said in Japanese, and I like being able to express those things. One of, one of my favorite words in Japanese is uh, bimyo. I have asked people before how they would translate Bimyo and I've never been able to get a consistent answer so I feel that having words like this in my vocabulary that I can express to other people, obviously people that speak Japanese, I, I quite like that about the language or any language. Despite my relationship with uh, people from overseas and having travelled a lot overseas uh, since a fairly young age, um, home is still undoubtedly Sydney for me. Um, I've always lived here and always fairly centrally in Sydney. Um, I would love to go and live overseas for a period. Um, Japan would be my first preference. Um, but there are certain constraints that sort of bound my life. I mean, I do have an investment property here with a mortgage, so it limits my mobility to a certain degree. I'd like to be able to go and live in Tokyo, but um, I suspect that I would have to take a certain salary cut in doing so. Um, and it would be a fantastic experience, but it would be an expensive experience that I can't really afford at the moment. Um, so home still remains Australia, and I think it, it probably will. I mean, I, I have grown up in Sydney. I do love living in Sydney, and um, I think this is what I'd call home. Five years, that's a loaded question. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. As I mentioned, I, I would like to live in Japan at some point uh, in the future. Um, I'm not exactly sure when that will be, whether that will be within five years or within two years or maybe not for another ten years. But I think me and my partner being Japanese, we did meet in Australia. She's uh, lived in Australia for a very long time. Uh, I know that she has desires to live in Japan again at some point in her life so that she can be both close to her own culture, her own original culture, and um, also close to her family for a period. And um, I'd like to honour that desire.